Good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna and I'm a fifth year third grade teacher in North Carolina. And I'm gonna take this off. <laughs> hey y'all, I'm wearing my happy first day shirt from Vanessa at That Second Grade Life. She sent this to me before we even knew each other. So love her and she is a beautiful baby girl. <laughs> I'll link all her stuff down below. She does make t-shirts, but it's my second day of school. So welcome. If you missed the first day, please click here. I am not going to talk a lot this morning. It is 638. So I did get here earlier. I left my house at six. I went through the drive through at Panera to pick up my order, but I did order it online before. So it would be ready. Um, one person got in the drive through before me. So I had to wait a little bit longer, but it was still less than yesterday. I have a lot to do. So I'm just going to get busy. I have to stuff folders. I have to lay things out. So I'm going to get to work, but I will talk to you guys after school. Hey all. So I made it through day two, first day for my second group of kiddos. I had four today. It went so much smoother than yesterday since I knew what to expect and it was great. It's 4.12 right now, so I didn't have to call parents after school today, which made my life so much easier. I've kind of just been sitting here zoning out though. Like I am tired. So I have my kiddos Chromebooks plugged in for tomorrow. I only have two coming tomorrow, so that will be like a nice calm day and their girls, so that will be fun. I have a couple IEPs that I want to read. I need to stuff their folders. My kid's Nikki folders finally came in. I got pink this year. Oh, they're the wrong ones. Okay, I will be making labels tonight because they're not labeled on the inside. They should say keep at home and stay at school or return to school, but they were ordered late because people forgot to order them. Okay. Well, I'm glad I opened the folder and looked. So I need to stuff two folders. I already put their logins in their agendas and I need to get their little, I've had a baggie of books for the kiddos. So I need to get all that organized. Like I said, I'm exhausted, but I'd rather do this now because today I was doing it like all throughout the day. Stuff their folders and then we're planning tomorrow after school. I'm tired. Today I had three boys and one girl and we were doing a um, go noodle and the boys were hilarious and the poor girl is just like, this is what I have to deal with. It's been great. Also, I want to say, so I hung that big Chromebook poster under my smart board and it has been the greatest thing because every time I've talked about it, I just pull it out and then it goes back there and it's been super helpful. So I've loved that. All right, this looks so sad, but this is how I've been setting up my kids' desks every morning. I have my little donut card, and this is a donut eraser from the Target Dollar Spot a few years ago that I have extras of. North Carolina provided five washable face masks for all children and staff, so those. I have some multicultural crayons and then the students will bring their own colored pencils. And we just have the beginning of the mask guy drawn out and then the kids can add the rest of their face and design their mask. And that's just what I'm having them do when they come into the classroom while we wait for everyone to get here. But I only have two tomorrow. All right, so like I said, I'm exhausted. Like, it's a whole nother level. I've switched my calendar. The girls' things are prepped for tomorrow. Their desks are set. This is the most, I have their going home information. This is the most prepared I've been all week, just because I got kicked out of school every other time, so I couldn't finish everything I wanted to do. So there's really nothing for me to do in the morning. However, I'm still going to try to leave by six and get here. That way I can prep my next day kids things because we're going to be planning tomorrow after school, so I won't have time to do it then. I might actually even, it's only 4.54. I might do it now. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do their agendas. 
I'll think about it. But anyway, I'm going to head out or end this video or end today here. Um, I'm going to continue vlogging this week, so make sure um, I, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm tired, bye. Hey y'all, I am back at home and I just wanted to come on here really quick and talk about how I am preventing my mask knee. Now please ignore this friend. It is that time of the month and that is the only reason that this one is here. But the rest of my skin, I mean besides my normal redness, is like clear for the most part for me, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. This summer, I really started taking self-care much more seriously because I'm always focused on everyone and everything else around me and I forget about myself. And I feel like teachers do that a lot and it's important that we take time for ourselves. So something I've been doing this week so far is taking a bath every night and doing a face mask and it has been glorious. Like so needed, so relaxing, so rejuvenating, and I have the perfect mask to go with it. I've been exclusively trying this out this week because it doesn't launch until the day that this video has been posted. This is the Teamy Restorative Clay Facial Mask, and Oh my goodness, I'm holding my foundation brush because who even uses these for foundation? This is an old foundation brush that I used to put it on and I cannot say enough great things about this. Um, I've already been using it for over a week and it is amazing. It is made from butterfly pea flower and then there's also zinc oxide and kaolin, kao, kaolin clay inside of it and this is just the most like, I've tried a lot of masks this summer, and I'm not even kidding when I tell you, like, this is just different. I think the butterfly pea flower, like, the scent is just unlike any other. It's, like, sweet but floral, but, like, I don't really like extra florally things, so it's not too florally, and it's not, like, overly sweet. It's literally the perfect balance, and it's the most beautiful periwinkle color and this is how much I've used so far now let me tell you I've never received a mask that was literally filled to the top and this was literally filled to the top so like every ounce and there's not like that annoying bump in the bottom like there's so much product in here oh and just the smell like reminds me of like a relaxing bath Oh my goodness, I love this. So of course, I have 25% off. I will leave it down below so you can go try this out for yourself. But let me tell you, treat yourself to a really good face mask and just soak it up, especially your first week back. You need it. And then try to make it a routine to do it like maybe once or twice a week. I have tried several products. I don't like to talk about things that I don't enjoy. And I mean, I've been working with Teamy for several months now and, and it's like relaxing. It's not like a strong scent, but it's just enough where it's like, oh my gosh. So let me know down below if you're trying it out or if you have a favorite mask and yeah. All right, I'm gonna head to bed tonight and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. Today is the earliest I've been at school. It's 6.36. Maybe I got here at the same time yesterday. My voice is like in shock from talking, screaming through my mask all week. I went ahead and did not do face makeup today. I just did eye makeup. So my mask was very dirty yesterday. It was funny. If you didn't see my boomerang on my Instagram, make sure you're following me there. I'm wearing a little hair thing from Target. This dress, I'm a little hungry. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. But my dress is from Old Navy, mask from Old Navy. I only have two students coming today. Everything's already prepped but I wanted to get here early anyway. I stayed in bed until 5.30 today, so, you know, getting I threw my hair in a ponytail, but it needs to be washed anyway. Dry shampoo, old curls, day three hair. Oh, I took a nap at 7 p.m. last night, like seven to nine, and then I was up till midnight. Good, but I answered the emails last night that I was gonna answer today, so it's fine. But I'm gonna go eat breakfast and relax and enjoy my free time in the morning.
Good morning. I just love that my mask matches my like shawl thing perfectly. Hey y'all. So I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, but over the past two days, I have not been putting anything but concealer just on my mask knee. And then I'm doing my eye makeup. I'm putting concealer under my eyes, eyebrows, and that's it. I'm not doing face makeup just because that is pointless. Um, it also saves me a ton of time in the morning. But hey, it is 6.42, so I'm here a little bit later today. I had to curl my hair again today because I washed it last night for the first time this week. Well, I washed it Sunday and then last night. I need to get hairspray because I need it to stay. But I didn't get to vlog yesterday because after school we planned. I had much more energy yesterday. Planning for remote learning is so different than planning for actual school because typically we would plan, we would get our master copies together and our assistants would run them. Or our assistant, excuse me. Remote learning, we can't have copies. We need to create the assignment in Google Slides, which we're doing a lot of them. We're going to move more towards Freckle eventually, but we haven't introduced that to our kids yet. So we're just trying to do things that we have introduced to them. Um, but I made a really cool Google Slides last night. Screenshots of passages we've used in the past and breaking them up onto different slides and then putting a question box next to it. And all of that is set as the background so the kids can't move it and it just says type here so they can answer the question. I'm actually really excited. So I'm looking forward to that. But yesterday was a good day. I had two kiddos and <laughs> very rambunctious child but it was great. I feel like I know my students so much better just with them being here one day because there's not as many as them. I have three coming today and I'm gonna take a seat and eat my breakfast because I'm starving and I did not get, I didn't, I usually, uh, mm, words, I haven't drank my coffee yet. I've been drinking a cup of coffee while I get ready in the morning at home, but I didn't do that this morning because I got, the Starbucks K-Cups, Cinnamon Dulce, 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 whatever. And my stomach just could not handle that this morning. So hopefully I will touch base later today. Hey y'all. It is 6.54 and I just got home. I grabbed a Subway sandwich or sub for dinner just because I have no energy to cook. This is the reality of going back to teaching. My voice disappears because I talk so much and haven't talked so much in so long. So, <clears throat> hello. Today was a good day. The three kids I had were in the same class last year, so they all already knew each other. They were comfortable with each other. It was so sweet. They were so precious. I'm so excited for my class this year. Like, I have such a good group. I have three more coming tomorrow, and I have heard nothing but great things about them. So, I'm just very excited. We planned after school again today. We finished up our reading plans. We Things that we were doing, like yesterday, we made a plan to do all this stuff in one day and we realized, look, we gotta spread this out. So we ended up spreading out into three days because we don't know what Monday's gonna look like with the kids logging in and all that. We finished our reading plans, which is good. I actually, they're not done because I volunteered to make all these things on PowerPoint. So I have to do that tonight. But I enjoy doing it, so I don't mind. They're stomping around upstairs. Math, we got stuck because we have HMH, which is our math curriculum. However, the kids have to log in so through a different program than, and just, there's just, I hate for them to go to Google Classroom to click on something, have to log into something else. I don't know, it's just a lot. Like I wish there was a way for it to be simpler. We are going to be using Seesaw, however, we haven't showed it to the kids yet and I just, I feel like we can't throw everything at them the first week. So we're trying to find 
what is going to be the most effective but most simple for us to do so we don't have to continue creating Google Slides and things and like reinvent the wheel that's already been invented by these great online programs. We're looking into HMH, we're looking into Freckle because our county purchased Freckle. I assigned both of those different assignments to the kids that are going to be in my room tomorrow just so I can see what it looks like on their end. That's what makes it tricky. It looks different on the teacher end and when they're at home and they have to figure out how to get on, it makes a difference, you know? So I'm going to clear my head for just a moment and watch YouTube or something, eat my dinner, and then I'm gonna create all this stuff. I'm tired. I was tired like all day, like the morning dragged. I had to get coffee because I was very tired, but I did get to school, like I mentioned earlier. <gasps> I'm excited that tomorrow's Friday because I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. But it's been really great to build relationships with my students and have this like such one-on-one -on -one time since there's been so little of us. And now I think back to like my first day and I wish I had my biggest group on my last day, but it's okay. All right, I'm gonna drink a Dr. Pepper, get some caffeine in me and knock this out. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Happy Friday. I feel like it's gonna be normal for me to come on here with my mask and then take it off. Not wearing face makeup again. My eye makeup, not gonna lie, is kind of left over from last night or yesterday. Yesterday I was super tired again going home. So I ended up falling asleep from like 7 to 10.30, but I had to do a bunch of Google Slides stuff for our plans, so I tried to do a little bit of that, did as much as I could and fell asleep at like midnight. I got up at 5.40 today, put a few extra curls in my hair, dry shampoo, touched up my makeup a little bit, took off like face, that was, I don't, I don't even know. Um, haven't had my coffee or breakfast yet, so I need to do that. And I have three more kiddos today, and that'll wrap up our week. This is the chaos of supplies. Basically every kid has like their own shelf. So I just put it there for now. But I mean, that's gonna be the stuff that when they come back, when they need more supplies, I'll give it to them. Oh, I have to tape their agendas and everything. I have so much to do because I had no time to do it yesterday. Like stuffing their folders, putting their things in their agendas. So I'm gonna eat breakfast, get busy, do what I can. And I will reflect on the week after school today. Hey y'all, so hello me from the future. I'm editing this video realizing that I never closed off the week, but like, I mean, you can see it throughout the week. It was exhausting, but it is everything that I've been missing. Like by the end of the week, it was pretty annoying to have had to do the same thing for five days in a row but it felt so good to be in the classroom with kids again and now it's almost friday of my second week of school and this week we did online learning and it has just gone so much more smoothly than i ever expected these kids are truly resilient and i think i think we were more nervous than we needed to be in a sense of like I thought these kids would be emotionally unstable and be extremely affected by this. But like we forget that kids bounce back so easily. And to them, it probably just felt like a really long summer. And I mean, when we're on Zoom, it's just like class. Like it's weird that it feels okay. Besides like the wait time being longer and everything, but I'll talk about that um, in my <laughs> next week vlog because <laughs> we're a week ahead. But anyway, I'm just so happy to be back doing what I love with kids. Being a teacher has never felt so right, regardless of the situation. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I am trying to keep up with my weekly vlogs, but I've been tired in the beginning here, so like... I'm not saying much or I'm going on rants at a, at a time and whatever. I'm just trying to reflect. I'm trying to tell you my experience and it's just, you're here for the ride. So thanks for joining me and I will see y'all next time.